Some of these plants are incomprehensibly huge. Join me as we take a look at the top 15 biggest plants on Earth. Number 15. Sunflowers Sunflowers kick off our list because they're a type of flower that most people have heard of, though they don't always realize just how large they can be. Some breeds are specifically created to grow as large as possible, and they can easily dwarf a human being. Native to North and South America, sunflowers are a multi-purpose plant because as well as being beautiful to look at, they also produce a huge number of seeds. These seeds are edible after roasting and make for a delicious and healthy snack, and they also can be turned into sunflower oil. But as you can probably tell from the name, these are greedy flowers that need plenty of sunshine, especially if they're to grow to the huge sizes that we're talking about here. The Russian variety can grow with flowers of over a foot in diameter and up to 12 feet tall, or as tall as two people, and they can grow to that size in as little as two months. It is believed that sunflowers were being cultivated by Native Americans as far back as 3000 BC, and it's possible that they were domesticated before corn. The world record for the largest sunflower is an incredible 30 feet and one inch, and it was grown by a German man called Hans Peter Schiffer. But let's be honest, no one really cares about that final inch. Number 14. Kirkazon The Kirkazon belongs to a family of vines and is known for its huge flowers. Resembling a large smoking pipe, the flowers alone grow to around 33 centimeters in length and 27 centimeters in diameter. One of the interesting things about the Kirkazon is that it resembles a Venus flytrap, though not in appearance. That's because it's an insectivore, which means that it eats insects. The insects head towards the color and then fall into a trap that they can't get out of, eventually being dissolved by the flower and then turned into food. It's grown for two reasons, one because it's beautiful, and two because it's used in medicine. It's also called Aristolochia, fever or fever grass, but you need to be careful of consuming it because there are a lot of toxic substances in it. Perhaps the most interesting thing of all about Kirkazon is that it's been around for so long that it used to grow back when all of the land on Earth was part of a single continent. Because of that, it can be found growing natively all over the world, although it's particularly common in tropical countries. Number 13. Saguaro Cactus The Saguaro Cactus is the largest prickly plant on the planet, growing to heights of up to 15 meters. That's about as tall as eight people. It can also weigh up to 10 tons, which is about as much as two elephants. These are big plants with a capital B. You might recognize these from Western movies and Mexican culture, where they're a common image. In fact, if you imagine a huge cactus set against the backdrop of a desert, the chances are that you're picturing a saguaro cactus. They grow throughout Mexico and in the southern states of California and Arizona, but they're in real danger of going extinct. Because of that, laws have been passed in some areas which mean that people who cause damage to the plants can be sentenced to up to 25 years in prison. You'd get less for manslaughter. A fun fact about these is that their scientific name is Carnegie Gigantian, which is in honor of Andrew Carnegie. They can live for as long as 150 years and survive extensive periods of drought. They've also provided both food and shelter to human beings for thousands of years. Number 12. Lotus Lotuses are one of the most commonly recognized flowers in the world, in part because they're considered sacred by many religions and societies from all over the world. It's also the national flower of India. But what most people don't realize is that they're also pretty big. In fact, its blooms, which are the bits that float on the surface of the water, are often over 20 centimeters when they're fully matured. The crazy thing is that there's much more of them beneath the water, too. Speaking of water, the lotus only grows in murky and shallow water where there's a little warm sunlight, and if it gets too cold, then they won't survive. It basically grows by embedding its roots in the sludge and then rising up to the water where its leaves and bloom float to and fro. That's why it needs to be in still water, because if there's a strong current, they get ripped out of their anchoring and carried away. One incredible fact about the lotus is that their seeds can remain viable for many years. The oldest germination on record is of a lotus that grew from a 1,300-year-old seed that were found at a dry lake bed in China. Number 11. Magnolias Magnolias are thought to be the first ever flowering plant on Earth which probably explains why they're also one of the largest. Everything was a lot bigger back then, and we're going back at least 100 million years based on the fossil records. 
This has another interesting effect, which is that the flowers don't have any petals or sepals like other flowers, using tepals instead. But don't worry, because we're not going to overload you with botany to try to explain the difference between the two. They also don't produce nectar, which means that they don't attract bees, but they do attract beetles, which do the pollination for them. Their bulbs alone measure as much as 8 inches in diameter, and their blossoms come in pink, white, red, purple, and yellow. We're not including trees in this list, and magnolias only just count, because they're technically both trees and shrubs, but we thought they were interesting enough to give a mention. As well as being fascinating, they look beautiful and they smell great, so they're worth growing in your garden if you have the right climate. Number 10. Hibiscus The hibiscus is another solid contender for the title of the world's largest flower. It's also another one of those where, as well as looking beautiful and coming in colors like red, yellow, white, and peach, they can also be used as a type of folk medicine. As for its size, the flowers are regularly up to 8 inches in diameter, which makes them pretty big, but not necessarily the biggest. There are hundreds of different variants in the genus, and they're mostly found in temperate tropical and subtropical climates. One of the cool things about the hibiscus is that you can make a tea from the leaves, and this tea has a ton of names depending on where in the world you are, and it can be consumed either hot or cold, depending on your preferences. It's notable for its reddish color, its high vitamin C content, and its distinctively tart flavor. Hibiscus are grown all over the world, both for their natural beauty and for the fact that it attracts insects and wildlife like butterflies, bees, and hummingbirds. It can even be grown on balconies in urban areas and will also flower throughout the year. There is a lot to like about this plant. Number 9. Tree Peony Despite what you might think from the name, this is still a plant and not a type of tree. It's related to the common peony, but it's also much bigger and with a number of unique attributes that are very different to its siblings. These things can grow as tall as 10 feet with no support, and they come in a number of different forms and colors. They have much larger flowers than the common peony, and also tend to bloom a couple of weeks earlier. You might not be surprised to know that these are grown for decoration and are also used for medicinal purposes, like many of the other plants on this list. They're often used by gardeners to line borders with foliage, and you should bear in mind that they lose their leaves in the winter. Tree peonies grow best in a lightly shaded area in soil that drains easily. They can be grown from seed, but tend to shrivel and die in the face of strong wind and periods of cold. But if you can get the conditions right, they're definitely worth growing. Number 8. Amorphophallus titanum The Amorphophallus titanum goes by another name that you might be more familiar with, the corpse flower. It gets its name from the fact that when this huge plant flowers, it lets out an awful smell that reeks of death and rotting meat. Unfortunately, these crazy plants are no longer found out in the wild, and so you'll only be able to see them if you visit a specialized greenhouse. That doesn't stop people from flocking to see them and smell them, though. Corpse flowers don't actually flower too often, and so when they do, it becomes a major event. Just be warned that if you plan to go and see this wonder of nature yourself, you might want to wear a clip on your nose. As for its size, you can tell from the titanum part that it is titanic. It has the largest unbranched inflorescence in the world, and is much bigger than all of the plants and flowers that we've talked about so far. Number 7. Victoria Amazonica the Victoria Amazonica is a huge herbaceous plant that's native to the Amazon, so it's not as though you're going to see one in a back garden. It's the largest member of the water lily family and the national flower of Guiana, and its leaves are large and robust enough to support the weight of a child. There are even videos out there of fully grown adults crossing a river by using them as stepping stones. However, these flowers are generally found beneath the water, and they only rise above the surface for a couple of days when they're flowering. They're also massive, and if you've probably already guessed from their position on this list, the leaves reaching 3 meters in diameter and the stalks reaching 8 meters in length. This makes it the largest water lily in the world, but they're also one of the most beautiful. When they grow in the wild, all of the buds in a patch start to open up at the same time, giving off a unique fruity smell that will stick in your nostrils. They actually use this to attract beetles, but it's not to eat them. This is how they reproduce. Number 6. Calamus The calamus belongs to a family of climbing creepers, and it's also called the rattan palm, or just rattan in Spanish-speaking countries. It holds the record for being the longest plant on planet Earth, 
with stems reaching up to 250 meters and a stem that's around 8 centimeters thick. This plant is interesting because it has no branches and the leaves grow from buds directly from the trunk. It then clings to trees, sometimes reaching the tops of even the tallest of trees. There are around 400 species of Calamus, and they're all native to Asia, Africa, and Australia. Some breeds have even evolved hooks to better hold on to trees as they're climbing them. Their roots are often used in folk medicine, even though there are some concerns about both its efficacy and its safety. In particular, it's used to treat stomach aches, skin problems, earache, and a natural way to get rid of the smell of tobacco. It's also used as a spice in various cuisines. Number 5. Giant Stapelia the giant Stapelia was originally native to the African continent, and it grows up to 40 centimeters. It's a bright red color, and it's covered with tiny hairs, and it's also known under the names of Zulu giant, carrion plant, and giant toad flower. Like some of the other giants on our list, the plant itself has an unpleasant smell, at least to us humans. Flies seem to like it though, and so they're attracted to the plant and help out with pollination. They normally bloom in autumn thanks to the shorter daylight hours. It's not yet entirely clear why the flowers are so big, although some people have suggested it's all part of their attempt to lure flies towards them. The combination of the terrible smell and the huge size could trick flies into thinking there's a corpse there. And there's no wonder that it's often used as an appetite suppressant. You might not be able to grow these in your back garden, though, because they can't tolerate temperatures below 10 degrees Celsius unless you're using a greenhouse. Number 4. Puya Romondi this bromeliad species can grow up to 15 meters, but it's also on the verge of extinction because it's struggling to cope with global climate change. Also known as the Queen of the Andes, the Titanca, and the Puya de Marundi, it's native to the Andes region in Bolivia and Peru. It was first described in 1830 and is named after an Italian scientist named Antonio Romandi. As you can imagine from a huge plant like this, it can produce a huge number of flowers, as many as 20,000 in a single three-month period. They last for about 80 years and die after their first reproduction. At one point, the Puya Ramundi was believed to be a protocarnivorous plant because it could capture birds in its fronds. This seems to have been disproven, though, and that entrapment is believed to instead be a type of defense mechanism. Number 3. Poshidonia Oceanica Also called Neptune grass, this fascinating plant has been sequenced by scientists and discovered to be as old as 200,000 years. It covers ocean floors from Spain to Cyprus and consists of all the usual stuff – roots, twigs, leaves, flowers, and fruits, the latter of which are called sea olives. It's the leaves which are particularly large, and while they're only 1 centimeter in width, they're as much as 120 centimeters long. It's also a vital part of the ecosystem, being nicknamed the Mediterranean's lungs by biologists because it oxidizes the oceans and provides food to the local wildlife. As you might expect from a kind of grass, it forms into a huge underwater meadow, which is why it's able to soak up 15 times more carbon dioxide than a similarly sized section of Amazon rainforest. It's usually found at depths of between 1 and 35 meters. And as for its name, it gets that from a combination of the Greek sea god Poseidon and its large distribution around the oceans. These days, though, the species is in decline due to threats from rising temperatures and damage from anchors. Number 2. Talipot Palm The Talipot Palm has the scientific name of Corypha umbraculifera, and it's able to grow up to 80 feet tall. Most of us are naturally tempted to follow the word palm with the word tree, but this is technically a flowering plant. In fact, it's the largest flowering plant with branched inflorescence, which means that instead of building from a single stalk, its flowers bud from little branches that are attached to the main stalk. Just the inflorescence can grow to around 25 feet long. And as where you'll find these, they're most commonly found in Asia, China, and on the Andaman Islands. It's also kind of similar to the Puya Ramondi, in that it lives for about 60 years and then bears flowers and fruits and immediately dies. Fun fact about this one is that back in the day its leaves were also used for manuscripts as well as for thatching. The sap of the Talipot palm was also used to make palm wine, while in India its leaves were used to make umbrellas. Number 1. Rafelsia arnoldi the Rafelsia arnoldi is the largest flower in the world, with a diameter of over 3 feet. Like the Amorphophallus titanum, it exudes a horrible smell that led to the nicknames of the stinking corpse lily and the corpse flower. 
The plant itself is parasitic, and it's also one of the world's most endangered plant species, categorized as critically endangered by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature. This is largely due to two factors. It's limited to a specific geographic area, and deforestation is encroaching upon its habitat. There are actually some plants out there that have larger flowering organs, but those are clusters of multiple flowers rather than one huge flower. It's also interesting because it has no observable leaves, stems, or roots, functioning almost like a fungus. The flowers themselves grow to about a meter in diameter and can weigh as much as 24 pounds. They take months to develop, and the flower only lasts for a couple of days. So if you're hoping to see one in the wild, you're gonna have to be on your toes. Watch our nature playlist for more top 15 videos about beautiful nature. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best nature videos.